I wrote a piece about two weeks ago, and it was shortly after starting uh, some medication for anxiety and depression and OCD and blah, blah, blah. And I figured it was about time I read it, um, because there is such a stigma to that. And in our society, it's very hush-hush, very taboo to talk about it. And I think that's so ironic. It's so odd to me. Because it's such a common thing. I, I just, I don't understand why it's, it's such a bad thing. So, I don't know. You know. Voices. I've listened... Uh, let's try that again. I've lived the last 45 years with a village of voices chattering in my head. All having their own conversation. Sometimes with me. Sometimes with each other. Sometimes with someone I just encountered or someone from my past. I cannot remember a time when I wasn't having a conversation with myself. Sitting outside, playing, talking out loud. Walking to class in junior high or standing at the sink, washing dishes. Maybe it was my way of trying to make my emotions manageable or make sense of everything that was happening in my life. Whatever it was, it worked for several decades. But you can only plug so many holes in a dam before cracks be begin forming. The voices no longer spoke with me about life or tried to solve a situation through inner dialogue. They began screaming, demanding action, demanding retribution, demanding I become better, thinner, smarter, more loving, less judgmental. They became disgusted with me when I stopped moving. Why wasn't I doing more? Why wasn't I improving faster? Why wasn't I perfect? Why wasn't the world perfect? Why? Why? The harder I tried, the louder they screamed, the less I slept, the thinner the wire I walked upon until I fell. I'm human. I come with a train load of baggage that creates an imperfect life. I'm beyond fortunate to have a husband and children that love me from my unstable mind out. They are the reason I walk right up to the edge and spit. They are the reason I row out to the deepest part of my inner lake and dive in. I have no fear of exploration because I know they're always there with a rope ready to pull me back. So where does that leave me? I am now learning the art of silence. Words have a new clarity. Sentences seem to be sharper somehow. The vagueness appears to be leaving my writing and a part of me mourns the passing of the fog. Yet this is a new thrilling experience. A cliff I have willingly jumped from. Knowing that somewhere below there's water. A sea of words await me. And what an exciting prospect. What a lovely thing to wake to every morning. Silence and words. I think the scariest thing for people to imagine is a loss of themselves. Maybe that's why they don't talk about it. Maybe that's why this is such a taboo thing, such a taboo subject. You don't want to talk about the ultimate fear, a fear of loss of identity, a loss of self. If you don't talk about it, it doesn't exist, right? <laughs>